Well, hello, I'm Dave Riccio, lead transmission technician and owner of Tri-City Transmission. Don't be a victim of transmission malpractice. The modern transmissions are built very, very, very well. They last two to three times longer than transmissions built just 20 years ago. Unfortunately, some people are working off those old assumptions that transmissions only last 120,000 miles. As a result of that, one out of every three transmissions is either overhauled or replaced in total air. How do I know? As lead transmission technician, I see it daily. Let me give you a couple of examples. Uh, I had a Chevrolet Suburban brought to me. It was towed to me from the Chevrolet dealership because it would not go forward. They quoted that customer $5,000 to replace their transmission. You're never going to guess what it is and how simple it was. It was just a check ball in the valve body. So what we did with that, remove the transmission pan, remove the valve body, replace the check ball, valve body back up, new filter, new pan, new fluid. Customer left for $400. That's a whole lot less than $5,000. Uh, Toyota Tundra. Same situation. This one came from a dealership also. This one had a check engine light and some really funky shifting uh, brought to us. It was at the dealership. They said, hey, you got a bad transmission and you also need a computer. $6,200 for a Toyota Tundra transmission. Well, guess what? We got it in. We took it through our diagnostic process. And guess what we found? We found a bad solenoid. That was all it was. Well, guess what? We serviced that transmission. We replaced that solenoid. $800 later, that customer drove away. Uh, these, these go on and on. Uh, I had another situation where I had a uh, customer with a Nissan Pathfinder. That's a four-speed transmission, uh, and it, uh, they had paid someone to rebuild it because it had weird, inconsistent upshifts. Sometimes it would flare. Sometimes it would shift hard. And they had the transmission rebuilt to the tune of $3,500 at another transmission shop. Well, guess what? When they picked their car up, the check engine light was still on, and it still had all the same symptoms, but they were just $3,500 lighter. So they went back to that shop five different times before they finally gave up on them and brought it to me. So we brought it in, ran it through our diagnostic process, and it's systematic, so it's not done in the parking lot. A diagnostic done in the parking lot and you don't pay for it is worth what you pay for it. Absolutely nothing, because you could end up buying something you don't need. So anyway, we went ahead and diagnosed it. Guess what we found? A bad throttle position sensor. This is actually not even part of the transmission. It's actually part of the engine. It tells the transmission when to shift. It's one of the many things that does that. So uh, they had missed that, but the customer is out $3,500 and five trips of aggravation back to that transmission shop. Uh, then I had a BMW from a gentleman. Uh, he actually had been to three different facilities to get his transmission problem checked out. His symptom, it was a, a BMW 545, six speed, 6HP24, and it was one of those where you came up to a stop, it would go boom, and you thought you were literally being rear-ended. It's actually a pretty consistent problem on that transmission, and a lot of people will recommend a software update, never works, uh, or a transmission, and that's what they told the guy, hey, we need to replace the transmission. He had three different quotes, three different shops, $6,000, $8,000, and $10,000. Well, guess what? His hairdresser said, hey, you got to go over to Tri-City Transmission, because he was crying the blues about this $10,000 transmission he needed. He brought it over. He was reluctant to leave it for our diagnostic process, as people are. They're like, why does it take so long? Well, because it is systematic, and we're able to find you better results by doing a good diagnosis. So guess what we found on that one? We found a bad accumulator. This is the accumulator in the 6HP24. It's flattened off here at the top. If you can see it, it should be a dome shape. So I also have a good one here. And uh, that's, that's what it should look like. So anyway, we took the transmission pan off, removed the valve body. We went ahead and rebuilt the entire valve body. Not only did we deal with the accumulators, but we dealt with some other bad valves. Service the transmission, new fluid, new filter, put it back up. $1,500, he was on his way. So that's a BMW. Then a Jeep Commander came to me from another transmission shop. I'm starting to feel like I sound like a broken record. But I tell you what, this literally happens in my shop three to five times a week. Okay, so I had a Jeep Commander in my shop. They came to me from another transmission shop. Guess what? Same thing. Weird shifts, inconsistent shifts, check engine light. That transmission shop quoted them a rebuild for over $4,000. Well, they brought it to us for a second opinion. We checked it out. We did our diagnostic. The transmission was a 45 RFE, five speed. We did our diagnostic on it. Guess what we found? This spin-on filter was loose. Uh, and this one always gets left loose. This particular transmission has two filters. It has a flat one that uh, I don't have one of those, it flat filter and then it has a spin-on filter <clears throat> and these spin-on filters never get tight enough so what ends up happening is they come loose and they drop out 
and it creates a hydraulic leak right there at the valve body. So guess what? $359 and a filter and a service, and they were on their way. They, were, they didn't lose their $4,000. And then some of them are even simpler than that. I had a Chrysler minivan that came to me again. Customer went into their regular mechanic uh, and had him check it out. Uh, transmission wasn't shifting right. He called him up. He said, you know what? Your transmission's bad. $4,800. We'll get another one in there for you. Take us about a week. Uh, so they said, ah, I don't know. I don't know if Joe really works on transmissions. I know he can change spark plugs and water pumps and that kind of stuff, but I've heard about transmissions. So we came to Tri-City Transmission for a second opinion. We took it through our diagnostic process, and guess what we found? It was one quart low on fluid. You say, how was it one quart low on fluid that had no leak? Well, someone had done a repair and replaced the radiator earlier in the year, in the summertime, and as a result, they didn't replace the fluid that, that went with the old radiator. And that was why it was low on fluid. So no one suspected it was low on fluid. But one quart of fluid, uh, the modern cars don't have dipsticks. A lot of people don't even bother to check the fluid level. They just call them bad. I'm not saying any of these shops and any of these stories by any means are, are fraudulent or out to get somebody or anything like that. I think uh, the actual uh, diagnostic process, they don't really understand how transmissions work. And so if you replace the whole thing, you're guaranteed to fix the problem, except in the case of the Nissan, because the problem was up there on the engine. So they missed that one. But actual diagnosing a transmission is, is almost a, it's a rare thing. Um, and, and so when you're talking to somebody, uh, they may be a mechanic or technician, whatever you want to call them, and they're very convincing when they're talking to you. And people, when they really believe in what they're saying, they can be convincing. I'm convinced now but I know I'm allowed to be convinced. But they're talking to someone who's convinced and uh, they don't know what they don't know. So when they say, gosh, you need a transmission, it's gonna be $4,800, they miss the detail about the one quart of fluid. So they don't know what they don't know. At Tri-City Transmission, we have a systematic diagnostic process. We follow the same procedure. It's like a checklist on, a <clears throat> on an airplane. In the old days when you could see the pilot, when you're walking in, you saw him going down a little checklist, you know. Flaps, ailerons, everything's working. Well, we have a checklist. We do exactly the same thing. We never skip a step in that. Once we have that checklist filled out, that passes through three technicians before we actually make a recommendation. That way you never buy a transmission that you don't need. Tri-City will not sell you a transmission you don't need. So call us today so we can guide you through the avoidable pit pitfalls of transmission repair. I'm Dave Riccio, and I look forward to meeting you.